how did you prepare for something of that nature? Because in reading it uh, with the closed caption a second time, it almost felt like it was a second language. That's not how we speak conversationally in society today. And so how did you prepare for that switch? Because it's uh, literally, you just do it effortlessly. And so conversationally, well, I think you hit the nail on the head in that it's our job, the actor's job to figure out exactly what Shakespeare is talking about, what he meant, why, why now, why in that moment? So, and, and, and then what I would try to do is turn that into everyday language for, for myself. If the, if the, here's a bad version. If it's, if it says, uh, uh, that light thou must be gone or something, then I would say, I got to turn off the light. You know, I got to get rid of the light. So that's that was the meaning. I have to get rid of the light. But the line might be light that must be gone. Or so that's a bad version. But no, you can get into this Shakespearean light that must be, you know. No. Yeah. What, what do you mean? And what do you want? I want the light turned off. So turn the light off, you know. And you master that, you know, that's really the art of translation, right? And that's really you just embodying, to me, the spirit of Macbeth and like what is Macbeth feeling and experiencing in that moment? And then you communicate it through the use of the language.